What's up, y'all? It's your girl, J. Renee, with Prison Ride Radio. I hope that you're doing well. On the phone this evening, we got a brother by the name of Marcus. All right, he's an author, and he's got he's a writer, and he's got some other things going on. So we're going to holler at him and, you know, see what's up with him. So how you doing, bro? I'm all right. How you doing? My name is Marcus. I'm from uh, Cleveland, Ohio. Most of my friends either call me Mark or Money. Okay. Um, I, I wrote two books, um... Uh, and under the pen name Marcus Payne. Okay, Marcus Payne. I like that name. So, Marcus, um, currently you are behind the G Wall. So let everybody know, you know, where you housed that and how long you've been behind the G Wall. Currently, right now, I'm at uh, Richland Correctional Institution. Uh, that's in uh, Mansfield, Ohio, mm-hmm. next to the old Mansfield Wall. Some people probably uh, know it by Mansfield. And that was in Charles Shank Redemption. Okay. Uh, I've been down 20 years. Okay. You know, 20 years is, is quite some time. How have you stayed motivated through, you know, those years? Basically, what motivated me is uh, I'm fighting an actual innocence case. So mm-hmm. uh, my motivation is getting back out into society and to the world and, um, you know, living my entrepreneur dreams. Mm. And, you know, of course, with the support of my family, and I got two children, a 21-year-old son that's in the U.S. Uh, well, actually, my son 29, my daughter 21. Mm-hmm. I got a son that's in the U.S. Navy, and then I got a, a, a daughter who, um, she's a nail tech. She go by Junkie for Nails. After she just flew back in Cleveland from uh, doing Nicki Minaj nails out okay. in Cal- California. Okay, now that's hot. Your kids are, you know, doing their thing. That's what's up. You know, that's that's really good. So you said that you're um you're fighting an innocent case. What do you mean by that? Well, I was convicted of murder in, in mm-hmm. two thousand in two thousand one, August two thousand one. I was actually arrested April sixth, two thousand one. At the time of my arrest This call is originating from an Ohio correctional facility and may be recorded and monitored. At the time of my arrest, I had a landscaping company and I was uh, rehabbing houses. Mm. So they came and got me from a house that I was rehabbing and uh, mm. basically blew up in the, when I pull up, when one of my contractors pull up in the yard, I'm on a passenger side, you know, they run out of my house, my neighbor's house, out of my garage, you know, mm. put your hands up during the arrest for murder. I, it was shocking to me because right. murder, I, I don't have no murder case, what you talking about? Right. So, you know. Well, we definitely gonna, um, you know, look more into that with you, bro, and and try to offer some type of support as far as getting your story out there. You know what I mean? Um, let's so let's talk about your book. So you wrote, you've written two books, but under the right. name Marcus Payne, you said, right? Right. Yeah, right. I like that. So tell us about your books. Well, my books are called The Setup. I got The Setup Part One mm-hmm. came out uh, March first of this year mm-hmm. and the set up part two came out July 10th a few weeks ago okay. set up part two is called the set up part two the ultimate revenge mm-hmm. and like I said I go by the pen name Marcus Payne um, that's P-A-Y-N-E last name uh, the books are about a young man in his 20s hustling drugs mm-hmm. struggling with trying to stop and live a straight and narrow life uh, the story originates in Cleveland Ohio but the character the main character he's going back and forth from Cleveland to Miami. Okay. He's, he's trying to stop selling drugs because of his upbringing. He was brought up, you know, in a home that was, had good morals and values and he was brought up in a church. Mm-hmm. So he kind of like fell wayside to to the streets to an older gentleman in the neighborhood that was, he was just making $20 off or $25 off each $100. And, you know, from doing that, that small that small little hustle of making his $25. Mm-hmm. He ended up catching a, a drug case his last year of high school. Mm-hmm. And from there on, he just, you know, he was knee deep in the game. Right. So what made you decide to start writing books? Well, basically, yeah, it started as a way to pass time and not think mm-hmm. about all the time that the folks gave me when I got sent. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it came as a, I wrote a page, a, a chapter or two, I put it up in a folder. Right. A couple weeks after that, I write another chapter, another chapter. Then I say, hey, I'm about to put this together and put a book together. 
and it, and it, you know, it's where I am now with two books and the third mm-hmm. one on the way. Okay, so what's the third one going to be about? Can you tell us? <laughs> I can give you a sneak peek of what the third one is going to yeah, be let's about. Let's get the third a little sneak. Is, let us get a little sneak, bro. The third one is 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 uh, the main character's name is Daenerys Payne, mm-hmm. and his life has has took a total three sixty since the first book, and he's he's uh he's not going back and forth with you know straddling the fence about being in the game and and, mm-hmm. and not being in the game. Uh, he's really turning his life around from where he was in part one, and that's basically all I can really give you right now. I, yeah, I don't yeah, want to yeah. Too I know. Much, you know I know you can't give it all to us. I appreciate, you know, uh, the little bit of sauce you did give us. So thank you for that. So, right. um, so what is what are some of your plans for the future besides, you know, bro, um, getting this third book out and obtaining your freedom? Uh, right now, I got a brand called Hashtag The Movement. Okay. Um, that brand is about social justice and and what happened was when George Floyd got when George Floyd was murdered by the police mm-hmm. uh, this sparked something in me to to get the word out to let people know you know what I'm saying that hey you know what I'm saying <clears throat> it's not just it's, it's not just about people being wrongfully convicted and and uh you know it's also about the injustices that's done in the streets, you know, how they're killing us. You know, not only our youth, but they're killing, they're killing us black men. They're killing us off like we're being extinct right now. You know what I mean? So I started a movement called uh, Hashtag The Movement. And from there, I started a website. Uh, I got an online store called The Movement 1220 at myshopify.com. And my website is uh, www.themovement1220.com. And that's mm-hmm. basically, uh, This call is originating from an Ohio correctional facility and may be recorded and monitored. It's basically open people's eyes up to what's going on in society. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? With all the injustices that's going on in America and around the world. Yeah, I like that, bro. That's really, really dope. I'm going to make sure that, you know, we get that out so that people can check it out. So, <clears throat> I know we ain't got too, too much time left. So, is there any shout-outs that you want to give? Anything you want the people to know? You know, this is the floor is yours. Okay, you can connect with me uh, on M and M at, on Instagram at MM Global LLC. Also on Facebook, uh, my government name is Marcus Blaylock. That's M A R C U S B L A L O C K. My last name. Uh, I like to give a shout out. To them, uh, my daughter, Imani Blaylock, that's Junkie for Nails, J U N K I E, the number four, Nails, N A I L Z. Uh, I would like to give a shout out to all my homies in Cleveland, all my homies on lockdown that's doing time, and uh, everybody out in the streets that's hustling, trying to make it, you know, trying to turn their life around and do the right thing, you know what I'm saying, and get back to our communities and our neighborhoods so we can help uplift our youth. And I would like to give a shout out to my son, Marshawn, too. At the same time, who helping my daughter uh, with her career and uh, her going to that next level. And I would like to thank you, Jay Renee, for reaching out to me to do this interview. For sure, bro. I appreciate, you know, you for reaching back. And I'm glad that you're here and that we had a time, you know, to get a chance to, to holler at you and see what you got going. And I hope that your books and your future endeavors, you know, sail to the, to the moon and back. Right. Right, I appreciate you too. I appreciate this interview. All right, for sure, bro.